This gentleman from Texas is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I uh, yield as, uh, myself as much time as I may consume. Mr. Gentleman Speaker, Gentleman. I rise in strong support of the State Department Authorization Act of 2019, which I was proud to draft with my friend, Chairman Elliot Engel. And I thank him for his bi strong bipartisanship. The last State Department reauthorization was signed into law in 2002. Imagine that, 2002, one year after 9-11. In the 16 years since that authority lapsed, we have seen too many taxpayer dollars wasted on inefficient hiring and procurements, an expanding bureaucracy, an outdated IT system that left us vulnerable to cyber attacks from foreign nation states and hackers. It is a fundamental duty of the Foreign Affairs Committee to pass an annual authorization bill. This is necessary to fulfill our constitutional Article I oversight responsibilities and our obligation to be good stewards of the people's money. For these reasons, I am proud of this bipartisan bill that our committee has produced. It will address numerous long-standing difficulties. It will also fortify the departments and our diplomats with the tools they need to fulfill their missions and to promote America overseas and enhance our national security. Among other important reforms, the bill before us will modernize the workforce, eliminate outdated reports and special offices, prohibit expensive and un unnecessary construction practices, impose rigorous monitoring and evaluation metrics, save taxpayer dollars, and reassert, as I mentioned before, our Article I prerogatives of Congress. And as the United States faces growing challenges from nation states around the world like Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, we need our secretary and our, our diplomats to know that Congress fully supports them. And this bill does just that. I want to thank Chairman Engel again and his team for working with my staff and our members to ensure that this is a strongly bipartisan product. Otherwise, it could not pass House, Senate, and be signed into law. The chairman knows that, and I want to thank him again for working with me on this important legislation uh, that we really haven't seen in over a decade. This type of collaboration has been a hallmark of our work on this committee. I, for one, am very proud of that work, and I know Chairman Engel is as well. So I ask my colleagues to vote in favor of this long overdue bill, which deserves our unanimous support, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentlemen.